Aiden Tucker. Yes, sir. I just left. Nope, haven't even made it back to the hotel yet. Just pulled in the parking lot. Wait, what? You're telling me they already placed an order? Just now, when I just left the meeting. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what? My flight doesn't leave out until noon tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go back by there and thank them. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get them to bump up that order. Yeah, 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 I know. Don't worry, it'll be fine. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Hey, Daddy, you want a date? No thanks. Um, probably can't even get it up. Probably a thing. Howdy, dude. You look at that. You got no money in there. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for something? What you got? What kind of shit you looking for, man? You got X? Come on. The hell are you looking at? Your foot. Something wrong with my foot? Yeah. Just got a hold on it. Shit! Shit! Chill. Don't cry. You're not crying. Listen to me. By the way I see it, you got two choices. You can get that looked at within an hour or so. You'll be fine. But if you decide to come after me, you won't make it two blocks before you bleed out. Not if you understand me. Everything's gonna be all right, bro. You sure? Yeah. What's this? They raised the rent again. How much? Eighty bucks a month. Okay, this is not okay. I'm so sick of this gentrification. Oh, God. They're trying to push us out. You get that, right? Keisha, haven't you seen that they're making the neighborhood safer? Don't you want a nicer, cleaner neighborhood? You can walk to class without worrying about getting mugged? Not if that means that you have to be gone more. Not if it means that they get to push out the black and brown people so some crusty old white guy can buy a new Cadillac. Rich old white man, don't buy Cadillacs. They buy Mercedes S-Class. You, you know what I mean. Babe, what do you want me to do about it? Buy me a house. And then how would you get to class if we moved? With the car you'll buy me? Duh. Oh, so I'm buying a new house and a new car. Is there anything else on that list? Because, hey, the other day I was taking a shit. $100 bills just flying out of my ass. You should have seen it. Baby, you don't tell me jack shit about the money. So what do I know? 
Except that it's time for me to get my nails done again. Lord, please, I've done what you asked. Take me now. Please. Baby, how about this? How about you get the ice cream and we'll watch a movie? I'll massage your shoulders. Hmm, I like that. I don't know if you're gonna be rubbing on me when you're watching a movie. Okay. Serious, Aiden. I want to move. I saw something happen. A man was killed in front of me today. How? When did this happen? No. About an hour ago, I was walking home from class, and it just happened right outside the liquor store on 3rd. So, how did it happen? I don't know. Just ran out of the liquor store and... I think he was trying to rob the place and he dropped the gun and he dropped money and this white guy came out, I, I, I think he was the store owner and just blew him away right in front of me. I'm sorry you had to see that. That's it? Did I mention that he was black? What does that have to do with anything? I tell you a black man was murdered in front of me and that's all you have to say? Well, it doesn't sound like it was a murder from what you're telling me. It sounds like there was a business owner who was getting robbed. A guy comes in with a gun, threatening to kill him, take his money. Sounds like he was defending himself and his property, maybe even his family. What the f Aiden? You know, you're a real piece of work. The military must have done something to your head on you serving all those years. Well, that's true. What does that have to do with this? Look, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Why don't we stay in tonight and I'll order a pizza and we can just chill. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you.
three hundred. Not bad. Good, you're here. Don't take off your jacket. All right, what's up? What's going on? We have a meeting with the real estate agent. You set up a meeting with a realtor without talking to me first? Yeah. So what were you going to do if I didn't make it here in time? Forge your signature on the promissory note. But what the f***, babe? What makes you think I have enough money for a down payment on a house? Oh my God, Aiden, do you have enough money for a down payment on a house? Well, yeah, I do. Okay, but... well then shut the f*** up then. Let's go. Okay, fine, but you owe me big time. Okay. What you doing? Down payment on the down payment. I thought you said we were in a hurry. I ain't no minute man, you know that. Hmm. It's your loss. Don't forget to buckle your pants. I'm getting that later. Sorry, what? The old man Weaver hire y'all to clean up this house. I don't know who that is, but no. Well, what are y'all doing? Moving in. Moving in? Both of y'all? Yeah. What happened to old man Weaver? Look, I don't know any Weaver, but we bought this place from a realty company. Nice young lady named Bailey. Bought it? Yeah. Is there something I can... What the f*** was that? Man, I may have to get me some of that. What the hell are you talking about? You know, I'm not so sure there's gonna be anything worth taking back there. Man, this shit is on that. Me lucky. <laughs> you mean to tell me you fucking son? Hell yeah, man. Might be the best you ever had. It's all pink on the inside. Well, so is the palm of your right hand, too. Damn, Chuck. You know, that sure was carrying a lot of packages in back there. Uh-huh. No, no, that's fine. Just, uh, let's get this wrapped up by the end of the week, yeah? And, uh, well, give me a call when it's done. I want to have, uh... Well, confirmation at the end of the week. Thanks, Phil. What's up, Jake? 
I'm not exactly sure. Honestly, Marcus, I was hesitant to even bring this to you. I mean, it could be a coincidence. Maybe my imagination. I don't believe in coincidence, so uh, details matter either way. Spill it. Well, it seems like we're having a higher than usual amount of losses in the uh, South Central areas. Losses? Such as increase in expenses or a drop in sales or what exactly? No, sir. And that's the thing. Dealer robberies. Dealer robberies. Who'd be stupid enough to target us? I don't think they are. Um, there's rumblings that other organizations are dealing with it too. How much? It's not necessarily the amount. I mean, that's really nothing. It's like 80 grand in the past five to six months. So what then? Just that it keeps happening in the same few cities over and over again. Dallas, Fort Smith, Kansas City. All right. I'll put five grand on it for any legit info. Let's see if this thing is a thing. All right. I'm on it, boss. You need another drink? I'm good. <laughs> Oh, oh, God, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Almost got you there. It looks like you've got your hands full. Yeah. Um. Uh. I'm Al. Al, yeah. <laughs> Keisha. Hey, I don't suppose you have a cigarette on you. No, I quit a while back. Yeah, I'm trying, but I wind up bumming smokes all day anyway. <laughs> Well, I'll let you get to class. Okay. Maybe I'll see you around. I hope so, you know. I'm home. Keisha? Found your big boy toys. Not all of them. Aiden. Come on, babe. There's nearly a hundred grand on this table, and you've been dragging about buying me a used car for class. And what the f is up with these guns? You know I hate f guns in my house. I can't buy a car right now. A hundred f***ing grand, Aiden. You better explain this sh I will if you'll let me. All right, go on. I cannot buy a house and a car in the same month, especially paying cash. It draws too much attention. That's why I took out as big of a mortgage as I could get in this house. Are you a drug dealer? Did you buy my house with drug money? Well, now that's two different questions. Boy, I ain't playing with you. No, I'm not a drug dealer. In fact, I would say I'm an anti-drug dealer. 
man, I don't even know what that means. Okay, but if you're not a drug dealer, why are there guns in my house? All right, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's the first son of shit right there. Look, babe, a sales job, there's a lot of pressure. I got a big territory, there's a lot of expectations. Why do you think they keep sending me out on the road all the time? When I first started this, between paychecks, it was getting real tight. Money, we didn't have any. So, I'm in Galveston, on one of the sales trips, walk to the store, see this drug dealer in an alleyway on Main. Well, I know where this is going. Listen, this dude had no situational awareness, no perimeter security. He had his gun flipped the wrong way in his waistband, had his hands in his pockets, just totally unprepared. So you know what? I was like, if this gets robbed, he deserves it. So that's exactly what I did. I walked up to him, knocked him the out, took his money, took his guns, and I went to McDonald's, got something to eat, didn't think twice about it. So what happened to the dope? I don't touch the dope. I don't want to drive with it and get caught. I'm not going to try and get it through the airport because of the dogs. So take the money, stash the guns and some cheap storage units in a few cities. Sometimes I just dump them in the sewer. Except the ones that you leave in our house in a cardboard box somewhere. Bet you probably got some MAGA hats around here somewhere. Look, you can't just go around killing people because you don't like what they do. Hey, I haven't killed anybody. And all I'm doing is taking stuff from them that's not theirs to begin with. And you know what? I didn't see you complaining when I got this house. I would never be able to pay for your hair and your nails every week or your tuition if I didn't have this on the side. I am not your sugar baby anymore. I am your wife, and that matters. What am I supposed to do if something were to happen to you and you didn't see them coming? What are we gonna, how are we gonna get by if you're gone? That's not gonna, we? Yes, Aiden. You, you said we, whoa. We? Idiot. Uh, are you sure? What, that's not a legit question? Yes, I'm sure. What is excited? What? Why are you not excited? This is great. It would be great if my husband doesn't get his face blown off. Well, is it a boy or girl? How would I know? I've only been in the baby baking business for a month. Ooh, okay, we gotta start setting money back. We gotta pay for school, clothes and shoes, karate lessons, piano lessons. We gotta make sure we got enough money to pay for the, uh, so that oh, we can pay what the tuition oh, scholarship doesn't pay. How about let her find her way out of the womb first? And do you find another way to bring money in for all this? Cause you're not bringing any more guns in my house with my baby being around. Oh, it's your house now? Yes, it will be. If I find any more guns in my house with my baby. You better ask Judge Judy. Now why you gotta be like that? I'm just trying to look out for what's best for my baby. Now are you in or are you out? In, of course. Man, I would have made you mean already. And I will knock you the f out. Okay, I will have all of the guns out of the house by the time he's born, I promise. Why do you keep saying he? You don't know shit. No, I got a feeling. And God knows that I could not handle more than one of you in this house, so he wouldn't do me like that. God is a woman with a big butt and a left hood that will straighten your out. Okay, sweetheart, whatever you say, you the know. Now you're getting it. What you doing? Hey Al, um, just checking on some emails. Um, you know, I had a few minutes before class and I just thought I'd do that and chill for a bit. Oh yeah? Yeah, we just bought a new house and it's been crazy, moving, it's a lot. When you say we, who's we? Me and my husband. Oh. I was thinking, 
maybe we could get a quick coffee at Beacons? Hang out a bit? I have class in like nine minutes. But you know, it gets out in like two hours and I don't have to rush home for anything. <laughs> nice. I'll go home and change and we can meet here. We can walk over there. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. See you then. What'd you get? White Canadian? Ugh. This sounds so good. Why don't you try it? Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. What did you get? It's black coffee. Yes. I'm trying to cut back on my sweets. You know, not everything sweet is bad for you. Sometimes a little diversion can make life worth living. I'm trying to stick to my diet. Mm, don't you love free will, though? Making your own choices about your own life. That's what makes life worth living, I think. Yeah. I've always done what I've wanted, but I'm trying to prepare for the long term, and that includes making choices for that. I understand. You can stay on a steady diet and occasionally try something new. Maybe something you've never tried before. I don't know if I'm ready for that, Al. Keisha, I'm not talking about our drinks anymore. I'm aware. Don't you think I'm aware? Would I know what you're thinking? How would I? We don't really know each other. And that's what this is about, isn't it? At least a little. You know what I think? Hmm. I think I better go before it gets too dark. And I still have to call my Uber. I'll give you a ride. I don't think that's such a good idea. I'll behave, if you will. Okay. But hands on the wheel. Do you... Do you want to come inside? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Why not? I mean, Aiden's in there and maybe you two could meet. Why? I just, I thought maybe the two of you could be friends. Yeah, I, I think I have enough friends. I'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah. What can I get for you? Uh, hi. Can I get a uh, coffee, black, please? Back in a sec. There you go. One coffee, black. Can't get you anything else? No. Uh, well, actually, um, is there any way that I could possibly fill out an application? <laughs> no, sorry. You sure? Pretty sure I am the owner. Okay, I mean, it just, it took a while for you to come out and I just thought maybe I could help up front and while you deal with whatever you're doing in the back. And... Hun, I am well aware that I've got plenty of other things to be doing than running the register and making drinks, okay? There's no money to hire anybody. Yeah, 
I'm busy, but I'm busy trying to pay taxes and fees that have nearly doubled over the last two years. And if that's not bad enough, all my truck drivers are raising their fees. And the bean growers, raising their fees. I'm at the point now, I'd be making more money on welfare than trying to work 70 hours a week in this place. So when I say there's no point filling out an application, it's because there's no point filling out an application. Look, I unloaded. I shouldn't have said all that, okay? I just... Enjoy your coffee. Let me know if you need anything else. Current 20. No. Want a drink? Five? Here. What's this? Take it. It's a cinnamon roll. Does this have nuts? I'm allergic. No, it doesn't have nuts. All right. No money? We don't have any money. I'll take a check. Something. Besides, she's probably all stretched out from her old man, Big Johnson, or whatever the name is. Open a door in the whole world. Hell, oh, man, if she needs nine inches, I just might have to hit it twice. I ain't had no strains in a coon's age. Your old lady can't say that. <laughs> hard, you fucking hard, hard. You're a funny. Hey, did you see that 69 big block in that penny saver for sale? Hell yeah. That was a 454 rat rod motor. Man, I could kick some serious ass with a car like that. But I'm not so crazy about that second gen Monty style though. Nah, anybody sounds all right with me. Yeah, I, I think you proved that already. <laughs> Man, I gotta get my hands on some money though. Hell yeah, me too. Maybe you ought to take that math deal Morgan was talking about. Man, you know I don't like selling to the or the If we only sell the people we like, it's gonna take like six months to move it on. Morgan ain't gonna like that. I don't think I want to that old boy on. I think we just need to wait for another cook deal. You know, they go so much smoother. Yeah, something will turn up. I'm home. Babe, hey, uh, what am I getting a silent treatment? Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't realize fanfare was required in just a moment. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen of the court, my husband off. Okay. I'm being real extra right now. Uh -huh. So you're in a mood, so, I mean, what happened? Why are you mad? <laughs> Where do I start? Um, let's see. I got rejected from a job today. 
and I offered to buy a homeless man a burger since he was starving, but he didn't care because it wasn't booze. And I used my nail money to buy him that food so I couldn't get my nails done. And then when I was walking home, those two redneck hillbillies were drooling so hard I thought they were gonna rub one off right there. And to top it all off, my husband doesn't get home until after eight o'clock at night for whatever reason. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry, I was on a sales call. West Coast up till about 30 minutes ago. It's fine. Okay? Okay. Clearly you are not happy. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hi. <laughs> and why were you on the phone with the West Coast? It's not even your territory. I know, but I'm covering for Rallo. He's on vacation. But the good news is, whatever sales I make on his behalf, get to keep the commission. Okay. Let's not fight, all right? Okay. Food smells good. How's the baby? The same that she was 14 hours ago when I saw you last, sitting in my tummy, resting, waiting to make me fat. Okay, look, you tell me you're pregnant, then you want me to stop my side hustle that I've been doing to make money, then you tell me you want a car, but you want me to stop working overtime. I mean, what's next? You gonna want me to quit traveling and get a desk job? Actually, that's not really a bad idea. You know what? You're right, it's not fair. I'm just expressing my needs to you. It's my first time being pregnant and I'm lonely and I'm scared and I need money and I need security and I want you around all the time, okay? I know it's a lot and I know something has got to give, okay? I just don't know what and I don't need you to fix it all right now. I just need you to shut up and listen. Why don't you just say that? I'm going to kick your ass. What's up, Aiden? So is there any way I can spend less time on the road? You want to give up some of your territory? Give it to another sales rep? No, oh, that's not what I mean. I just need to spend more time at home. I'm not understanding what you're saying. Wife's pregnant. I need to spend nights at home. So I figured I could manage my accounts via cell phone or the internet, just less in person. More time at home, Aiden, with a pregnant wife? That's the last thing you want. Tell you what, we're trying to expand our Alaskan territory. Maybe I could arrange a little exploratory trip for you. I appreciate that, but no thank you. Okay, well, I'll mull it over over the next couple of weeks and we can see what we can come up with. But in the meantime, I need you to attend a conference in St. Louis this Thursday. It's a three-day event, but you can have a fourth day on me just to uh, relax. If you know what I mean. That's okay. I won't need an extra day. Well, whatever. I offered. But, uh... Oh, well, we'll circle back to your idea when you get back. Okay, then. Good talk. Thanks for stopping by. Al, are you stalking me or something? No. Well, not really. I mean, you want to see what we did? Creeper. <laughs> Just kidding. Is that your lunch? No, I just found it on this bus stop. You want some? <laughs> Maybe we had some vodka to wash it down with. That would make my business fundamental class more interesting. Jeez. Keisha, don't you ever cook? 
all the time actually i just hate doing it and it's like i just finished doing the dishes from dinner and then whoops it's breakfast time and i gotta cook again i make a killer chicken casserole okay i'm Thanks. saying i enjoy making it christ almighty keisha i'm inviting you over for a home-cooked meal oh 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 um that very sweet of you. Thanks. Tonight? No, I can't tonight. But I'll let you know when. Yeah, sure. No, seriously. Yeah. I'll let you know. Okay, then. Um, I'm gonna go to class. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks. Jake, what's up? A few things, boss. Uh, we're up about 10% in the Fort Smith market, where we introduced the blue. And we're also getting a foothold in the uh, Kansas City area, but it's not doing much yet. Okay, good. What else? About the guy that has been rolling our street feathers down in the blue. Oh, the guy is still out there? Why hasn't someone swatted his already? Yeah, he hit two more of our guys this morning. Down in Baton Rouge for about three grand, and then back in Dallas again for just under six Oh, grand. come on already. What the f but we may have some good news. Um, I think we may have a picture of him. A pair of hookers saw the heist go down in Austin. They were taking a selfie and he walked right by. They ignored him, walked right up to our dude, shot him right in the foot. They described it to a T. I mean, they could just be trying to collect a reward, you know, for some info, I suppose. But they are in a network, so they know what happens if you catch them lying. Verify the pick. Make sure it's not blurry. Date time, all that shit, and pay him. Get rid of this guy already. Well, we don't know where he is yet. But that's not hard. You said he hit Dallas, he hit Austin. Kansas where City, else? Baton Rouge, and Little Rock. What about uh, Wichita? Yeah, once. Okay. Tulsa, Oklahoma City? Not yet. We'll start your search there. That's where the f***er lives. He's hitting everywhere in a day's drives from there. Okay. Uh, so once I verify the pick, I'll send it out. Um, I'll get it to our people or whatnot in our network. But uh, what are you going to do about the reward? 20 grand, but no I swear every wants these f***ing rewards. And I'll tell you what, I want verified f***ing proof. I want this f***er's face on the cover of the newspaper. Or better yet, I want his and head in a box at my front porch of my house. And if anyone else is involved, they're in it for free. I'm on it. Hey, Wallace. It's Jake. All right, babe, what you hungry for? Anything, I'm starving. Uh, what about Rockies? I'm not in the mood for Rockies. Tacos? Uh, I had tacos for lunch. How you feel about seafood? Anyway, FYI, I talked to the boss today. He's agreed to start cutting back on my travel. So as soon as I get back next week, he's gonna start trimming it back. Oh, that's good. Wait, where are you going? Conference, St. Louis, but it's only for three days. What the f Aiden? You were supposed to go in there and request less days on the road. How do you come back out with a three day trip to St. Louis? How does that work? Look, it's my boss. He said he's on it, it's fine. Yeah, next you'll be in Alaska. Watch. What about Charbroiler? Uh, maybe Charleston? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Is 2.40. Is that your husband? No. I'm joking. I mean, I honestly don't even know what he looks like anymore because I haven't seen him in so long. I'm still joking. <laughs> you must have a huge What the f Al? I'm just saying, man. There must be something great about him to hold he has over you. 
I mean, I did marry him. Okay, so no reason to sit at home alone tonight, right? I'll pick you up at six, make you dinner, and keep you company. Yeah. What's that? It's my address. Oh, I remember where you live. <laughs> Recognize this motherfucker here? That looks like the old bull that's in my next ex cow. That looks like about 15,000 bucks to me. What are you talking about? That's what Morgan's offering to take him out. No sh sh that would my favorite. I sure as hell is him. What's he holding, you reckon? Ah, he didn't say. No, oh, it might be, uh, might be nothing. Might be something big. Might be something he did in the past. You never can tell with him. It's boobs. Fifteen grand, man. That's real money. That's eight grand each. Plus whatever's in the house. I wouldn't expect too much in that house. Except maybe his old lady. You know, we better not around it. Somebody else will get in there first. Come on out, you figure. Ta-da! Wow. So this is the living room. This is so cute. Did you? It smells good in here. Did you already start? Yeah. It should be done in about 30 minutes. Oh my god, in your kitchen. You know, you never did tell me what you do besides school. I work from home. Yeah. What is this? I do webcam sessions, Keisha. Oh. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm not. No, I get it. But look, I make a hundred bucks an hour. I don't run the business or collect the money. There are some guys that do that. I just log in, and at the end of the week, I get a check for the hours I worked. And you you don't split it with anything? It's all solo shows. So let me get this straight. You you get paid a hundred bucks an hour just to people? Mm-hmm. Seriously? If you're interested, I can introduce you to Morgan, the guy who runs it. Mm. I don't know. I. It's not really my thing. Yeah. No. I. I get it. Um. But if you're ever interested. Anyways, I'd guide you through it if you ever wanted to. I'm sure you would, Al. Allison. It's short for Allison. Allison. Anyways, um. There's the bathroom if you ever need it, and the dining room's attached to the kitchen. And? And? Allison. I've never done anything remotely like this. I know. It'll be okay.
these. What you looking at, bitch? What? Yeah, that's the Morgan got 15 bands on. Bullshit, for real? Look at the picture. Let's go. Why is that? Because your dress is on inside out. <laughs> so, what are you gonna tell your husband? I told you he was out of town for a few days. So we could do it again tonight? Well, when you do tell him, what are you going to say? I'm not. Why, why wouldn't you? Allison, you knew what this was before you even started with me. I never led you on. No, 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 that's, that's not what I'm saying. Well, then what? I don't know. I thought you'd want to keep going. Al. I never wanted to change my marriage, okay? I was just frustrated and lonely. And, okay, sure, I had like a secret fantasy. But we just bought a house, and I'm going to be a mother, and those things have to be my priority. I just figured things were strong between us. <sighs> Honey, it was the most intense thing I'd ever felt, and you are amazing. I just... It's not something that I have as a priority right now, and I can't say that it's going to happen again. But you can't say it won't. Me, Al, you're relentless. <laughs> Anytime. Not what I thought, but it was nice.
Hey. Mom? It's me. Keisha. Keisha. Your daughter, Mama. I'm fine. He's fine. He's good. Did I tell you we just bought a house? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's in a good area. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just thought about getting more room to grow. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Did I tell you that Aiden's making more money now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying to save up, um, you know, get a little nest egg going. So, how do you feel about being a grandma? Mom, I'm trying to tell you I'm pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it took you that long to take a hint. <laughs> mm-hmm. About six weeks. Yeah, um. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to class today. As, as a matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna stay here and rest and take a bit of a nap. Can I call you later tonight? Okay, tomorrow. Fine, Friday, Friday then. Okay, mm-hmm, love you too. Yeah, bye. Car's gone. Maybe they went up to the Walmarts or something. What do you reckon? I figure we go in behind the garage back there. Can't no one see us go in from the back. I figure we can get two, three rooms cleaned out before he gets back. That a ways we can skedaddle a whole lot quicker after we finish him off. Fair enough. What are you doing, Junior? Well, I'm gonna park my car, buddy. Here. Well, well, if I park up by the house, somebody's likely to recognize the truck. God, you're so ignorant and you couldn't pour out of a damn boot without the directions written on the hill. Okay, wise ass. You don't want to be caught carrying five armloads of stolen shit two blocks down the street in the middle of the night after whacking I'm son. Oh, fine. Where the do you want me to park? Well, not here. Just two houses short, right between those two houses. That way each one thinks we're visiting the other. Jesus Christ, he couldn't find a knife. Sometimes cold steel's better than hot lead. My daddy always said, never bring a knife to a gunfight. Hi, 
my name is Keisha Barnes. I live at 3313 Eastwood Avenue. Um, I think there's a prowler outside my house. Um, I don't think so. Yes. Okay. Um, no, I guess not. Thanks. Fun luck. I need help now. So the cops, they're in my house. And slice my tits off. Jake, what's up? Hey, boss. Hey, uh, Morgan wants to know what you want to do about the new product he sourced for us. Tell Morgan he can go himself. He keeps asking me about the I'm going to send his ass to El Paso. I got you. I'll straighten his ass out, boss. Hey, what about that jazz singer last night? Can you find her? The brunette? I want to get with that. Oh. <sighs> 